Our single best chart is from John Norman of J.P. Morgan. It's log Bitcoin, where slope matters, percentage is normalized. And this is a little different chart. Uh, up we go, 2010 to 2014. I'll put this out on social for Bloomberg Radio. And the blue circle is where John Norman stopped traffic and published on Bitcoin long ago and far away in 2014. Mr. Norman joins us on our set in New York this morning, usually in London with J.P. Morgan. Uh, Chase, what's changed about Bitcoin since your incredibly important paper of early 2014? Probably the only thing that's changed is its popularity. My view on it in 2014 when I wrote on it is that it was essentially a, a retail novelty, not something that institutional clients or corporates uh, should become involved with, and there are lots of reasons for this. I just never thought it would really attain scale because it's a currency uh, that no government backs, and that's really the essential quality in, in becoming a, a widely used means of, of transactions. But there are, there are always enough retail clients, libertarians, right. even criminals who want to become involved in it that you see it quite popular. I don't want to get you in trouble with the different parts of J.P. Morgan that are doing cryptocurrency stuff, and of course also Mr. Diamond's acclaimed comments, but retail novelty is maybe a comfortable way of saying Ponzi. I have said out on Facebook Live, I don't think it's a Ponzi scheme because that implies a criminal activity within the currency up front. It just seems to be almost good intentions. Which is it? Well, there are people who are using it for good intentions and people who are using it for malevolent intentions. Maybe if you want to choose a, another analogy rather than Ponzi, you can call it air miles because there are lots of things that can be used to mm -hmm. uh, acquire goods and services. And in the same way that air miles can, this cryptocurrency can, can too. It just has the, the added dimension of maybe being uh, more globally accepted by uh, a retail community in a, in a wider range of countries. And that's why it's, it's so popular.